Hey folks, I've got some news that's going to blow your mind. Veritasium just made my naughty list. If you're concerned about the safety of cell phone radiation, you might want to know why. Do you feel you're not getting the whole story from online science influencers like Derek Muller, who runs the popular YouTube channel Veritasium? Veritasium's video titled, Do Cell Phones Cause Brain Tumors? In all essence parallels the war gaming memos from 1997, revealing the close collaboration between the industry and scientists to downplay the significance of studies that found potential health risks from cell phone radiation. In the digital age, it is important to consider the potential for conflicts of interest when it comes to disseminating scientific information, especially for online science influencers like Derek Muller that are presented as very scientific and trustworthy. Critics have pointed out that Muller's financial incentives, such as video views and clicks, create a conflict of interest in his support of economist Emily Oster's pro-industry position on cell phone safety. Well, have no fear because the respected scientists that make up the ICBEMF see your child as something other than just a dollar sign. I urge you to look into what less well-known scientists have to say that aren't getting paid by the number of words published online to get clicks, the ones sharing the honest scientific truth about potential cell phone radiation health risks and your children with zero conflicts of interest. These respected scientists from around the world have conducted extensive research on the potential health risks of cell phone radiation. They have observed a wide range of bioeffects, such as increases in tumor rates, oxidative stress, and changes in gene expression. And these effects have been observed at non-thermal levels of exposure. But it's not just adults that need to be concerned. Children are even more vulnerable to the effects of radiation because their brains are still developing, and their skulls are thinner than adults. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand children exposed to cell phone radiation have a higher risk of absorbing more radiation than adults exposed to the same SAR level. But it's not just brain tumors that we need to be concerned about. Cell phone radiation can also affect the reproductive and even the nervous systems, leading to headaches, fatigue, and sleep disturbances. It can also affect the memory of children. So, what's the solution? It's simple. We must demand transparency and accountability from online science influencers like Derek Muller. Influencers are responsible for presenting a full picture of the available data, including the potential health risks associated with cell phone radiation, when leading viewers to believe cell phones are safe enough. So don't be a victim of wargaming science in the digital age of online influencers. Demand the truth and support the ICBEMF in their efforts to educate the public on the potential health risks of cell phone radiation. Thanks for listening and remember, BRF safe to be sure. This public health message was brought to you by CellularPhones.org.